Good afternoon, folks. Uh, welcome back to Fanny for the Soul for yet another interesting interview. Today we have with us uh, Vibhavari Deshpande all the way from Pune. Good afternoon, Vibha. How are you? Hi, hi. Good afternoon. I'm good, Rahul. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. You know, we 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 just have I think seen the last of the rains in Goa. So you know, the sun is now shining brightly in Goa. I, I, yeah, you're the, lucky to be quarantined in Goa. <laughs> of all the places, you're really and, lucky. <laughs> yeah, and and now now the now the tourists have started coming also. You know? so, uh, of course, everyone has to be very careful still. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, you know, let me uh, quickly introduce uh, Vibha to all of you. Um, Vibhavari is a very unique combination of a theatre playwright, a theatre director, a film actor. a uh, hobby uh, singer and a hobby runner you know and <laughs> i'm sure she likes i like to hear the sound class, of it <laughs> the, you know likes the sound of hobby runner but she's done 10 km runs many 10 km runs so she keeps herself fit um, now uh, vibha as i like to call her and she's popularly known uh, vibha uh, you know actually uh, cut her creative teeth so to say with the uh, grips um style of theater you know the german form of theater as a school girl literally high school girl and i i remember seeing her uh, as a grips uh, theater actor when she was in grade 12 or something like that you know in in uh, yeah. the prithvi prithvi theater grips theater festival in mumbai so uh, she acted in grips and then graduated to become a script writer and a, a grips theater director so that's been she's actually gone across the entire journey today uh, she is um, established herself as a very fine actor uh, she has acted in the oscar nominated uh, harish chandrachi factory the very fine marathi film and more recently 2018 in the uh, you know uh, highly acclaimed hard hitting film uh, titli and lakshmi bomb we'll be seeing a few video clips later on in the interview um when she not doing all of this of course like i said she she likes to run and she likes to sing so let's let's start with the interview you know so um, viba as i mentioned uh, grips i'm going to start by uh, showing uh, you know a grips uh, visual let me so um, you know i, I you started as a school girl so to tell us uh, you know the how it molded you as an actor the grips form of theater yeah right so right as you rightly said i was introduced to grips as an audience when i was 7 years old which was which is really really a tender and a great formative age to you know get exposed to something so good and then i started my mother as you know rahul was a theater critic and uh, i was exposed to really good theater uh, professional amateur parallel experimental all of it and that's how i came across grips at a very early stage as an audience and it really took me over and i it was really a part of my growing up and it has shaped me up not just as an artist but as a person as well so it was a very obvious choice for me to you know fall on the other side of the stage not as an audience but as a performer i was just waiting to enter the age limit which is like 15 plus to be an actor there so i joined the theater workshop uh, conducted by shri rang godbole and uh, maharashtra cultural center and um, yeah i was just a part of a play within two days and there was a amruta subhash who who we all know was just selected for a national school of drama and she was leaving for delhi and there was a play that she used to act in called pehla pan and uh, we had shows lined up four days uh, right after four days and sri rang being what he is he said oh okay let's rehearse for two days and then you are ready and i said what you know a a full length play you just get in rehearse for two days and did you perform and but it was you know it, it was as if i have always been doing this because i've always been watching grip plays not just one show but 5 10 15 shows of every play so it was like it was all in me in my system and it just had to come out and it was a great chance pailapan which was my very first play as a replacement amrutha's replacement i did that and it was like a joy ride it was it seemed it felt very easy which of course it wasn't but probably because i had it in my system since i was a kid i could uh, carry it off well and then as you said pehla apna mana khaya happened 
which was uh, the very first indian play written and directed by shriram and he premiered in um, prithvi theater which i remember you coming for the show and talking to all of us i think what G- grip gave me was getting rid of any kind of inhibition as an actor because children are absolutely uninhibited they don't care about how they look they don't have any you know body consciousness they are so pure and so instinctive and so innocent that they just say what comes to their mind and as we grow into adults we are taught to become civilized we become adults and we lose that simple instinctive innocent you know our soul of us and grip is like another chance to relive that as an actor so it's it's a great training and it's a great refreshing experience where you actually you don't remember whether you're a woman or a man you're sitting on somebody's you know chest and beating somebody up which we we even adults would want to do at some point but we cannot and you know it's like a satis- satisfaction to all these hidden urges and hidden instincts that you have always had and yeah so it it has a lot of it teaches you as an actor to match the energy children have and it is tremendous so when you perform for 1 hour 20 minutes it's like a full marathon maybe so so it gives all these not just physically but mentally spiritually emotionally it's a different joy ride which actually takes you back to the childhood that you have always wanted to retain and sustain so that is what grip as an actor has given me Why and you? as a writer i think yeah I, so i think as a writer it's no different yeah, yeah. so so my uh, next question really is you know uh, please tell us about uh, you know that uh, when you when you developed as a writer for grips uh, theater you went into this very interesting uh, pune G- germany collaborations you know uh, because yeah. grips comes yeah. from germany so tell us about that uh, do and me you know that play that you all yeah. um collaborated with uh, german writers and um, you know they staged it in marathi and in german yeah. i show so, uh, yeah so so it has always uh, india and germany collaboration has always been very interesting because as we know we started in 1986 which were at that time the the situation was more like they were the parents and we were the children or the students teacher students we were trying to learn this methodology but since we have so successfully uh, created new pieces and kind of created our own grip activity over 25 years the idea was to now start a different kind of collaboration where we are actually come together as equals and create something together so this idea was uh, basically michael snoop uh, mr michael snoop who was the director of mmb bachelor bhavan pune back then and he came up with this idea that why don't we take one or two indian writers and a german playwright and bring them together and you know see what comes out of a of an exchange of creative ideas and theatrical uh, patterns and formats and maybe try to bring about a common play a common text and it was it was very again very instinctive myself ranga and luth shubner who's one of the best uh, contemporary playwrights in germany we came together and it was as if we always knew each other you know somebody coming from completely two different continents and completely com- different cultural historical political scenarios actually have so much in common and when you believe something so strong in common together the cultural differences don't create conflict they just create a beautiful contrast and that so we actually started the process that we identified some terms like nationality or love or relationship or uh, politics or food so all those concepts and we tried to find what are the different cultural contexts at- attached to it how do we think of food when it it's it, india how do they think of food what is a man woman relationship or man man relationship in india or woman woman relationship in germany Uh, and what is our perspective so we kind of toyed with those contrast ideas uh, of two different countries and then we realized that this little cultural exchange and cultural conflict can be a very interesting topic for a play and that's how do and me was born 
where and the basic story is it's an indian family in marathi uh, pune family and there's this boy who comes from germany in an exchange program and there's a young girl in that family the mother thinks that the girl should be exposed to western ideas and she should widen her horizons and in fact there there, there was a girl who was supposed to come but she doesn't come so this boy comes and the mother tries to push the girl towards this boy ki you know meet him you will have really good exposure to the western world and she's like oh give me a break i don't care about where you know the typical teenage angst that they have towards each other and finally the girl and boy fall in love with each other and the mother is really worried oh my god now not so much of exposure <laughs> she starts pulling them back so it's a very funny take on cliches what do we say when we say something is indian and what do we say when like it's a cliche that the, everybody in germany drinks beer all the time i mean they do but that's not what identifies germany you know so so these contrasts and conflict brought about the brilliant humor and we came up with one single text the, there was an indian interpretation of it which was do and me and the german interpretation of it was their guest is god the, the guest is god atithi deva bhava which is again a very indian concept and the, there were two theater pieces which were essentially very different but the core and the soul of both the plays was the same in fact the text was also the same so it was an interesting contrast and it was a complete joy ride for us fantastic and i was lucky to watch both so <laughs> yeah <laughs> even the german version so very lucky. yeah it was hilarious and then we also did another play called why which was about youth and radicalization Yeah. which was uh, in association with dusseldorf state theater right that was again a very interesting experience fantastic right so i'll move to uh, films now viba and uh, obviously yeah. i'll want to start by talking about uh, harish chandra chi factory because uh, not only because it was oscar nominated but the, the highly acclaimed and loved by the audiences you know such a such a um feel good film you know so i'll just show let me show a video clip How was that experience? You know, acting in uh, Harish Chandra Chi Factory. Yeah, it was brilliant because for many reasons. Uh, it's, uh, written and directed by Paresh Mokashi, who has been our friend ever since. I mean, we knew each other for a very very long time. He was a part of Drip Theatre and a very close friend of ours. Uh, so basically, uh, Paresh has a very unique style of writing. There's a beautiful humor. There's a there's an excellent feel good factor to the whole. approach that he has for example it's a story of a struggle of this man who tries to make a film when nobody even knew what it you know film making is people thought taking pictures and a camera is also a devil so so when you hear it it's about struggle it's about hard work it's about pain but paresh had a very unique approach of looking towards it he said if it something you're doing you're doing something out of your passion it is never a problem there's never pain there's always happiness there's always joy in all the challenges that you are trying to face and that's why the film has a very beautiful texture of a fantasy you know a kind of joy ride where how, how this man came up with this idea and how it translated so there's humor there's simplicity there is love there is a beautiful romance and this kind of genre anyway appeals a lot to me and the whole ensemble was like a couple of crazy people coming together and trying to do a play a play you know the whole atmosphere the whole approach because the cameraman was amalendu choudhury he he is also a part of our group 
the line producer is uh, was indian magic guy which is again ranga rushikesh amit patwardhan these are all family and we have all done theater together so it's like okay this is a great idea this is a fun script let's come together and uh, you know try and make this film this is the spirit when we actually come together to do a play so it's we were all in that zing and we knew paresh as this madman who will just not compromise on any of his creative ideas and vision no matter what and he did that because he he put in his own money because there was nobody to put in money for somebody you know an actor who who's not a star not me not nandu amalindu was it was one of his first film so there was no star in the film so there was no producer who would put in money and say Ki, do this film but paresh being paresh said okay i'll do what i want i'll work with the actors i want i'll have the technicians i believe in and he put in his own money and made this film so we all had we were we were all sharing his passion and understanding his faith in the film and while we were doing it we had no idea i mean we knew that we'll do something really nice and fun but we had no idea ki this film will be the official selection for the oscars and it will be you know talk of everybody has seen this we we had no idea but the whole joy of doing something was there in the film it was like one big party it was a tough shoot we were you know supposed to be shooting in uh, doing it in 1913 so technically it wasn't easy there were difficult situations long shoots but it was a joy ride and i think that's what this makes this film special because no one none of us was doing it because are it's a job karna padta hai paise mil rahe hain you know that was not none of us had that even a one line actor up to nandu babu so i think that was the spirit and that's the magic of this film which finally you know tra because the film is about an ensemble if you see smallest of the part is as magical as the biggest one in terms of acting in terms of camera set music all of it and i think that's the magic that finally worked and the film went where it had to go so yeah fantastic yeah it's a, it's an absolutely feel good film uh, very charming so uh, you know uh, in in um, in types of films the next film that we are speaking about is in total contrast you know like your 2018 film uh, titli uh, and uh, you know tikli sorry tikli and uh, lakshmi bomb lakshmi. now in in uh, tikli and lakshmi bomb uh, it is about the life of sex workers of mumbai and it's a it's a kind of dark slightly dark and hard hitting film you know so i'll show yeah. a video clip which will you know exemplify what we are talking about how to do customer fishing see aise koi gaadi nazdeek aane lage na to aise mu mod ke liye kaise koi interest nahi to mere ko kya na police mein kaise aise kare dekh lena really is that uh, did this uh, because of the kind of effort you put into the role did it haunt you for a long time after the film was over because it's such a dark film yeah it, it definitely affects although uh, we also learned the technique of you know going in and out and it's also self preserving technique that we are taught when we uh, learn i mean do theater training or any kind of training Yes it was a very interesting film as i said i have uh, i've done very little work because i have always wanted to do something different than each other something that i have not done before and it's not easy to get the kind of work that you really really want to do it it's tough 
Uh, so when this film came to me, Aditya Kriplani, who is now a friend, he is also the he had written a novel called Tikli and Lakshmi Bomb, and he wanted to make a film of his own on that. And he sent me the novel, and he approached me and said, "Pella, you just read the novel, and if it excites you, then let's talk about it." And when I read it, uh, I'm a pretty good reader, so I read it in probably a day or two, and uh, I really loved the story. and uh, what i lo- love most about it is yes it is about sex workers it is about how they exploited it is about what they go through but it doesn't uh, doesn't you know make them uh, really pitiable it talks about how how they hold their ground how they respect their profession like any other profession the story doesn't go into why she became a sex worker how it was you know what she went through how it was an inevitable no it doesn't talk about that it starts from the premise that yes these are sex workers and this is what they do to earn their bread and butter and how they smash patriarchy in the process so it it could you know you can pick it up pick up the story and put it in any other uh, profession as such it's about how women uh, empower themselves how the sisterhood empowers them how they learn to stand their ground and how they smash the patriarchal system in any profession so that way it's uh, it's more of an adventure it's like a krantikari film you know it's it's about a revolution so it's a very positive hopeful funny you have seen the film so, so you know there's a lot of humor in it there's a lot of it's like the sex workers are treated like any other women they have their dreams they have their jealousies they have their happiness they they have their glamour you know all of that so in a way it doesn't disconnect you or the sex workers from the rest of the society so it works more for me as a woman than you know just being a sex worker so it was a journey of even my internal journey of finding what i am as a woman what are my strengths what are my weaknesses and how i can hold my own ground so more than being in a trauma or you know more than being in the you know being in the lows after or during the film because it was a very hard shoot we actually shot on real locations almost 85% of the film is shot at night and it's an independent film so you know uh, we didn't have vanity vans and we didn't have all those luxury uh, comfort while shooting the film but again it was the it was the content it was the focus and passion of the filmmaker who really drove all of us together so again it was uh, yes it stayed with me but it didn't stay as a very traumatic experience or it stayed more of an empowering and more of an exciting experience for me also wonderful lovely explanation great um you know now in 2020 you are you are uh, you know the netflix has become so popular and there are you know serials yeah. now on netflix that people are watching and consuming so uh, that's the new platform so uh, breathe into the shadows is the latest uh, uh, serial that you are working in and it you know abhishek bachan's first entry i think in this on this platform and yeah. uh, nitya with nitya menon so how has the experience been so far you know because you have a, you said like it's a developing role and yeah Just yeah a... so I, it it was great because ott is a good platform now where i see a lot of space for actors like me who probably don't fall in the conventional glamorous role but you know have the capacity to do different kinds of roles and performance oriented roles and there's a lot of good space for marathi actors as well because hindi uh, they all believe that marathi actors have a lot of theater training and they are good so uh, so yeah for actors like me it's a very good opening and uh, i have i you know test for many shows i get some i don't get some but i'm very happy to be slowly building my uh, platform or my position in the ott space so breathe into the shadows was uh, was really exciting i tested for it and uh, i knew that i am playing against rishikesh joshi who is a very old friend of mine he is a brilliant actor brilliant writer we have known each other for more than 20 years but never had the chance to work together but we always had this chemistry i had just uh, also acted in his directorial debut so it was a very exciting i was very happy when i got to know that i'm selected and uh, when we went on the set mayank sharma who is the writer director of the show he knew 
what how marathi actors work and how they improvise and what kind of sync they have so he gave us a lot of space and he said abhi karo jo karna hai and me and rishikesh kind of struck the right chord right in the first shot as if we have always been working together you know you know somebody for so many years you have worked each, you know you have seen each other's work you know how this person is going to react Yeah, what the new joke is going to crack? So that unpredictability and a little predictability kind of gave a lot of fun on the set. We were very fast because we shot about four the scenes in one day, and the whole you you unit was like, oh wow, ये मराठी लोग आते हैं फटाफट फटाफट batting करते हैं और निकल जाते हैं. It was that kind of an experience. It was a it's a small uh, the length was small in the second uh, this season, but since it is in Rishikesh Joshi's track. which is a very strong character it's a rolling character and i am told i am promised that the next season is going to have even more uh, screen time and even more uh, weightage so i really loved it i play a dhaba a woman who runs the dhaba and uh, she is in her 40s but now she is rekindling her college romance so it was a beautiful nostalgia that you're playing ashiki song then going back to your college days you know so it was very nostalgic for me also And it was a lot of fun, lot of fun, and it was. It's a very nice, widely viewed show, and though my role was small, it was definitely noticed, and people reached out to me, people I didn't know also, and I said, "Ah, uh, it was, it was." And it's a refreshing track in the whole show. It's a very dark uh, mystery, and it's a murder mystery, it's a psycho thriller, and this track is the only track which is little light-hearted and kind of bring bring the little comic relief to the whole show. so for me it it is very different and very exciting and i am looking forward to the next season yeah and and do you get a uh, because um, there must be also scope to interact with other other actors like abhishek and nitya menon and all that yeah i did not uh, i mean i met abhishek on the set once but uh, unfortunately we did not have a scene together we i was hoping that we will i'll meet all the other actors during the promotion but because of covid and lockdown oh, there were no physical events of uh, yeah. promotion but uh, there's a next season let's hope yeah so. next season yeah surely yeah so uh, i uh, i moved to something very close to your heart let me show some photos first first with the hubby oh <laughs> <Nice. laughs> no lovely photo with your, with with rishikesh yeah. and you know um, yeah Uh, okay let's let's start talking about rishikesh and then we'll come to your daughter so the fact that right. he has uh, been your you know uh, you know him from high school and you all have acted in grips plays as you know school students um, so what was it like you know then marrying him and you know now so uh, you know how how is how do you all combine i don't think it's combined i mean we have known each other as friends we started as friends and we are still you know the Thick as possible friend till date, you know you falling in love, relationship, marriage, all of that kept happening by and by. But the basic thing is friendship, and I think that's very important in the times that we are living right now, because uh, it's chaotic, it's difficult. You, the, the, you know the old system of the woman looks after the house, she stays at the house, he's the provider, he goes out and goes out and works. All these. Uh, structures which were really that way safe are now changing and i think it's a great change where everything is there's a chaos inside there's a chaos outside and i think more than anything the friendship in a relationship the friendship works the most it's my experience so i always say that uh, you know finding a husband in your best friend is the uh, it's the best bet So I think we both have got that. Of course, life is not bed of roses. We have had our uh, struggles and difficult times, and, but but we practically grew with each other because I was 17 when I met him. He was uh, 22. You know, we started seeing each other when I was 20. He was 25. We got married. So it was like growing each other, growing with each other, and kind of adjusting and forming a unit. And I think the friendship has worked the best for us. and because he also understands he's from the same profession also you know works a lot because he knows how it is he knows my insecurities he knows my struggles and he is somebody who has always said okay if it hasn't happened yet it's only because it's not time 
he he has never said okay then maybe it's not working maybe you should think about something else maybe you should take up a job and you know maybe you should start doing television he is somebody who has never ever said that to me and he is somebody who still makes me believe that okay one day i'll i'll be where i want to be and i'll get to do what i want to do and i think that that's the biggest strength of uh, being a friend with somebody you are married to so yeah i it's a lucky bet i would say <laughs> fantastic fantastic now uh, you know now let us show a photo of the girl who is teaching you how to take selfies <laughs> <laughs> absolutely <laughs> yeah so uh, apple of bo- both your eyes oh, you know? yeah. <laughs> yeah i mean both rishikesh yeah. and you so radha is your uh, love to kill you daughter. rahul for this picture <laughs> <laughs> so so <laughs> this uh, she's going to kill me <laughs> What yeah you because you showed this picture she is very picky about what she do out <laughs> and good good okay. we will we'll, we'll settle it when i come to pune but the point is now she is sure. teaching you tricks with the camera and all that and she is i believe is a good uh, photographer now yeah uh, yeah. Now. She, yeah so who's what is she what is her favorite thing is she uh, fond of acting or is she fond of art or music or what is it I think she is uh, exploring a lot of course right now she is good with sketching and painting uh, but she doesn't want to do that a typical 15 year old who will you know not do something you have asked her to do but uh, she is definitely artistic and uh, that's what she would want to explore this is what i see uh, she is very socially socio politically aware which is very interesting for me because i wasn't at her age Uh, she reads a lot about world politics she has very strong ideas about you know gender equality about uh, religion about oh, i mean she's she's a liberal she will come and ask oh so you're center left or you're center right those terms were never in my vocabulary until now but uh, she which is very interesting for me and she know she watches a lot of ted talk so i see her uh, inclined towards humanities politics psychology economics maybe i don't know uh, definitely art she wants to act um, but she uh, after she she's in 10th now so when she finishes her school i think she'll start with some theater workshops and she'll figure out she sings well she plays the guitar uh, so yeah she's exploring she's enthusiastic but she's very clear about what she doesn't want to do which is i think very good because what you don't want to do and what you cannot do finally show you the way to what you want to do and what you can do Super. so yeah i think that's where she is right now so clearly a very talented 15 year old that's that's good to know let's see <laughs> let's see <laughs> yeah, yeah. no no good 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 for her so. good for her good for all of you so wonderful uh, viva lovely chatting with you and you know thank you for sparing this time and uh, you know i'm sure i have all, all the time i'm very happy <laughs> no no and we go so such a long way rahul i know it's been so many years man. so yeah I'm true really true happy. from 1996 to now yeah 24 years yes. we have known each other <laughs> long time that's a <laughs> wonderful so so my warm regards to daddy to kaka yeah. and and everyone else at home rishikesh and radha yes catch you thank soon thank you so much thank bye you bye. so much see you soon bye. Bye bye bye